you did mention that uh, that you thought that an understanding of the way ant colonies are able to perform incredibly organized tasks might well be the key to understanding human cognition. So these fundamentally yeah, yeah. distributed systems. So what do you right. think is the difference between the way uh, Don Knuth would sort a list and an ant colony would sort a list or well, yeah. perform an algorithm? Sorting a list isn't the same as cognition, though, uh, but but I know what you're getting at is, uh, so to the, well, the advantage of ant colony, at least we can see what they're doing. We, we, we know which ant has talked to which other ant, and, 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 uh, and it's much harder uh, with, with, the, with the brains to, 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 to know how, to what extent uh, neurons are, are passing signal. So I, I'm just saying that ant colony might be a, you know, if they have the secret of, co of cognition, like, like, think of an ant colony as a cognitive single being rather than as a, as a colony of lots of different ants. I mean, just like the, the cells of our brain are, and and uh, and the microbiome and all that is, is, is interacting uh, uh, entities. But uh, but somehow the, I, I consider myself to be a single person. Well, you know, an ant colony uh, you can say might be cognitive, cognitive somehow, and, and some, it'll, some it, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, I okay, uh, uh, I, I I I smash a certain ant and. Organism saying, "Hmm, that stung. What was that?" You know, right. You know. But if we're going to crack the, the the secret of cognition, it might be that we could do so by by, by psyching out how ants do it, because we have a more, better chance to measure. They're communicating by pheromones and by touching each other and uh, sight, but but not by much more subtle phenomenon like electric currents going through. But even a simpler version of that, what are your thoughts of maybe uh, Conway's Game of Life? Okay, so Conway's Game of Life is is uh, able to simulate any any computable process, and and any deterministic process is. Uh, I like how you went there. I mean, that's not its most powerful thing. I would say. I mean, uh, but, it can simulate it, but the the magic is that the individual units are distributed yes and extremely simple yes we can we, we understand exactly what the primitives are the primitives just like with the ant but, colony even simpler but, though but if we but still it doesn't say that i understand uh, i understand life i i, I mean i understand uh, it, it 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 gives me an it it gives me a better insight into what does it mean to uh, to have a deterministic universe, uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, what does it mean to um, uh, to, uh, to have uh, free choice, for example? So uh, do you think uh, God plays dice? Yes, I don't see any reason why God should be for, for, for forbidden from using the most efficient ways to 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 uh, 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 to. Um, I mean, we, we we know that dice are extremely important in in efficient algorithms. There are things that that couldn't be done well without randomness, and so I don't see any reason why why God should be, be prohibited from when, when the uh, when the algorithm requires it. Uh, yeah. I don't you, you don't see why the, yeah. the the physics should constrain it. Yeah. Uh, yeah.